he is gone. How are we? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing because I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Oh, my hair, it's been longer. Look. I had compliments about it last week, last Friday. One of the guys said to me, he said, your hair is looking really good. He said, it's getting longer. I said, yep. He said, and it's really nice. He said, it's really white. He said, it's nice. I said, oh, thank you. So it's nice when a guy compliments you on your hair. It's a bit, you know, at the moment, but, you know, it's getting there. It'd be a lot better when I lighten it even more. And when it gets longer, you know, especially when it's down to here, that'll be good. Although it really doesn't look so good when it's down to here. It looks a lot better when it's like down here. So, like when it's down here. So, but I'll have it swept over. So, with part of the fringe, I'll have it coming right down, sort of thing. So, I always do. So, that's how, that's how I like my hair. When I have hair, which I'm starting to get back again. So, you know. Eggbird is just walking around the floor at the moment. It is a beautiful day. Here he comes. Hence the name. Speak of the devil. Say hi to everybody. This is not. There you go. You get both of us in there. Okay. There we go. Both of us in the, in the video. It's a lovely day outside. Nice and warm. Absolutely, it's absolutely gorgeous. Sunny and warm and... Oh, it's just so nice. I've got karaoke tomorrow night. That will be fun. Um, I have... Uh, I come across this really cool app which I'm going to do a little bit more with today so that's going to be that's going to be heaps of fun um, I'm going to do a whole thing of photos and stuff like it's going to be so good so it's probably going to take me maybe a day or maybe something to edit it all but it's going to be fun so and an eggy. If you're wondering, eggy is just there. Is where he is. So I'm gonna do that. So I'll up, I'll upload all of that to YouTube and to TikTok. For those of you that are not over there in TikTok, you'll have it. You'll have it, and for the ones that are in TikTok and don't have YouTube, they'll have it, so that'll be fun. Um, let me see, what else is there? Um, Brody and Roland came over from uh, TikTok, so good one, guys. It's good to have you over here in the good, good net. The other one tends to get a lot of um, bad ones, you know. Um, I look. I don't know what why they did it to me again. I I've got no idea. I I have my suspicions. I I have a suspicion that somebody reported it when that person came in. And wanted to go live so that he could show or so they could show me their sex toys and I could show them mine and we could have a play together um, one I don't own any sex toys to start with 
two I said quite straight in the lie that that was disgusting and they were a very disgusting little individual and that I was going to report them for it. Um, now I don't know whether they reported it and that got me taken off um, but was suspended. I don't know whether that guy that came on and was singing in the live, um, I don't I don't think he was doing anything wrong, but I look I don't know because while he was singing the k -k -k, and the suspension got whacked on me. So I don't know. Now that has spoiled that for everybody because from now on in if anybody comes on and says, Can I join the live in TikTok? I want to sing to you I'm just going to say no because I don't know I have absolutely no idea um, but I was reading the policies in TikTok and what all these trolls what they have been doing to uh, my channel over there in TikTok is against the TikTok rules and they can be instantly banned. So when I finally get back doing lives again on the 10th of March, thanks to the little trolls and stuff like that over there in TikTok, um, once I get, and that's like two days after my birthday, I might add, um, you know, once I get back into the live again if they start coming in and doing what they have been doing which I know they will um, I will be reporting them and they will get their account banned it's that simple because they're, what they're doing to me is not allowed they're not allowed to do it Now, I've got to find out exactly. I've got to try and contact TikTok directly. And I'm going to ask them to tell me exactly what it was that all my lives have been suspended for. Not just one, but all. So that I know. Because I don't know. Because... I've looked at the rules and the regulations and I did nothing. I wasn't naked, my boobs weren't showing, um, my genitalia wasn't showing through the clothing. Um, I wasn't being racist or anything like that to anybody. Um, I wasn't naked, I wasn't, you know, doing sexual things things like with my mouth or anything like I wasn't um you know I, I wasn't doing any sexual actions or anything like that nothing um so I don't know look I I don't know but I'm getting sick and tired of it because it's the same thing all over and over and over again and one of my mates over there in TikTok he had his account banned not suspended banned from going live i think and he has like eight or nine thousand followers if not more i mean this is ridiculous i mean really i mean this is absurd I mean, really, I mean, but then I blame TikTok because TikTok needs to go through these lives, see that these so-called reports are fake because the people aren't doing what the report's saying that they are and TikTok should turn around to the trolls that are doing the reports and saying, no, sorry no i'm not we're not you know we're not going to back you up on this 
we're not going to um, grant you the report for getting the account suspended. Um, sorry, that didn't happen. The report's not going, the, the suspension or the block is not going to happen. Now, if TikTok did that to them a few times, they wouldn't do it anymore. They'd think to themselves, oh, well, why bother? But no, TikTok are backing them up. And I've even put in, like, for TikTok to revise it. Because I put a, a dispute in. TikTok won't budge. So I'm going to get hold of TikTok somehow. I'm going to get hold of TikTok. Might not be today, but I am going to get hold of TikTok between now and the 10th of March. And I am going to ask them specifically exactly what it is that got my account suspended four times since it's the same thing over and over and over again I'm going to ask TikTok to actually tell me exactly what it is that they've done it for and if they say I'll go read our guidelines I'm going to say well I have and I still don't know what it is that I've done like what I have done in my life for you to to back this report up and suspend my account and I need to know so that it doesn't happen again and if they say well you you were doing nudity or whatever I can honestly say no I wasn't and I can and I can give out names and I can say no I said you contact this person you contact that person you contact another person you contact so and so you contact Joe Blow you contact you know Jack whatever you know you contact all of them I'll give you names and I'll, I'll say and and I can guarantee you they will back me up a hundred percent and they will tell you that I don't do any of that in my lives not any of that in my lives and and see see how it goes because it's ridiculous i'm getting really sick of it if it wasn't the fact that i'm making the account because one i enjoy it and two i'm trying to make sort of like an income out of it um i i would get rid of tiktok i wouldn't bother to be honest guys i wouldn't bother I would just stay here in YouTube where I don't get any of that because YouTube is is one of the nicest platforms that's out there it is it is way nicer than Facebook way nicer than Facebook Facebook is toxic it's way nicer than than, than Facebook it's way nicer than TikTok Okay, we've got some really nice, cool people in TikTok, but the majority so far that I have seen is toxic. And I've got a few really nice followers that follow me on TikTok and, and come in, but it's like maybe... If you went out of a thousand people, I've only got like say forty-five percent that are nice, and the rest of the percent are toxic and nasty, and are out to have your your account suspended or or, or worse banned. Um, it's horrible. I mean, I, I did live yesterday, naturally. I did because, you know, I got suspended. But um, another guy joined in and I thought, yeah, why not? And it must have been people on his side that were having a go at me. And even he stood up for me and told them to stop. 
So, yeah, I mean, they're just toxic. But here in YouTube, it's not toxic. It's not nasty. It's not vengeful. It's nothing. It's nice. So, but if I didn't enjoy it, and as I said, and I wasn't trying to make an, an, like a, 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 an income out of it. Now, do notice I did say I enjoyed first, income second. I would get rid of it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep it. Because each time I go live, I'm trying to struggle my way through people... And and not hit, hit and not accidentally step in the cesspools, if that makes any sense. So yes, so I'm going to get hold of TikTok and I'm just going to get right down to the nitty gritty with this because I think it's ridiculous. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I really do. I mean, surely, you know, surely, you know, they they can, you know. But obviously they can't, so, you know. So there you go. So that's my TikTok experience at the moment, guys. So, there you have it. Shelby did some more of the kitchen floor. She's nearly covered the kitchen floor. Just need to get the stove out. We need to get the, the, the stove because it's gas. So we need to get the gas line for the stove sealed up um, so that we don't get a gas leak. Uh, and then the stove needs to be removed and taken away. And that, that sink needs to come out, but that, that probably will be the last thing on the list that comes out. Um, and then and then she needs to um, finish the floor. And she needs to do the walls. And then she can start to put the kitchen in there. Um, now, how she's going to do it, I've got, I've got no idea. I don't know. Because um, it's not meant to be fitting tightly in... such a small spot um, the only thing I could maybe think of and she may not like this she may not like it but maybe she doesn't want the wall taken out she doesn't want that wall taken out um, Which really, it needs to be taken out for the whole kitchen to be put in the way it was meant to be put in. To the way it was designed to be put in, I should say. But one, I don't have the funds to take the wall out. She does, but she won't spend it on getting the wall out. Because she doesn't really want the wall out. So she's not going to spend the money to get it taken out. Um, even though it really does need to come out, she won't spend the money, so, um, so the only other thing I could think of if she wants the whole thing to fit in properly would be, would be if, like, the main stuff, like the cupboards and everything were, like, 
half of them, like the top ones, half of them were like, um, were like put on in, in the kitchen area and then the other half was put on this side of the wall here and then the kitchen cupboards and stuff that go in the middle of the thing where the big granite bench tops sit on was put in here and then the sink was put was connected up and put in here as well um, and then that way that in there could be like one big pantry type thing it could be like one um, she could have that as a um, butler's kitchen she could have that as a butler's kitchen so she could have the main majority of it out here and some, some of the cupboards and everything in here and then she could go into that part which would be the butler's kitchen where she'd have another sink that she could use so we wouldn't have to get rid of that one we could use that one so that would be the butler's kitchen and so she'd have that and then she'd have um, all the food and everything would mostly be in there and then she'd have all the cooking and stuff out here well she'd have the cooking and stuff in the butler's kitchen um, and then she'd have like the thing where you could eat and everything out here and she could prepare the food and everything out here and have a few cupboards up along the wall and that kind of thing and then that way and then that way it would all fit and should be right and nobody would see anything being cooked or anything because it would all be in the butler's kitchen So like if she wanted to, like if she had two people that were cooking and stuff, she could be out here chopping away and doing whatever she wanted to do out here. And then the other, the others could be in the other section chopping and cooking and stuff. And then they just, in yeah, I think that might work. Because the lounge room is so big, guys. It would work. I'm going to put that idea to her today when she comes home. You know, guys, I've just got to get to the ladies' room. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Thought you wouldn't be long. Eggy yeah, had to come with me, of course. But I reckon that would be a good idea. I do. I can that be a bloody good idea. Because like, I mean, I, I think that would be an excellent idea. I really do. I think that would be a really good idea. Then she could fit everything in and everything wouldn't be cramped. Nothing would need to be cut. Um, and everything could just be done really well. I reckon. I reckon. Because, I mean, I don't really want to have those granite bench tops cut up. They're too beautiful. I mean, it's, it's, and the cupboards, they need to be going on the cupboards the way the cupboards are. So, 
I'm going to put it to her to, to maybe have that idea. Well, she probably might like it. She probably tell me I'm, I'm bloody stupid, but I'm going to put it to her anyway. So, because let's face it, who doesn't love a, a, a butler's kitchen? Butler's kitchen is a great. Oh my god, look at my eyebrows. Look, they got grey hair in them. Oh wow, I've never noticed that before. Look, look. That is quite becoming in a way, isn't it? Look. Not really. But it looks like Bob Hawke. So, yes, so there you go. So that's an idea, I hope. What? I'm so sorry. Here. Do you want to come up? Well, hurry up. Oh, careful, you got your foot caught. You got your footy caught. Isn't he beautiful, guys? I love him. can be a naughty little son of a son. It is my naughty little son of a son. Mm. My son of a son. Yes. Look at these little pink feathers. And they all need to be, um, Sorry, baby. I'm sorry, darling. I'm sorry. Thank you, Mama. Mama's sorry. Mama get a penny figure, did she? Oh, you got it. Thank you. Go on, up there. Come on. Up again. Quick, 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 quick. Quick. Where's it going? I think. Ah, not my ear. Alright, guys. Well, I like these eight from us today. Yes. What was that? Is that, is that all from us today? Is 
that's an eggy and I. Careful, you got your nail caught. Hot. It's good. It's good. You good? So for myself, for my Eggy, for my Eggy, <laughs> for my Eggy, say hi to everybody. bird. Who's that pretty bird? You don't care, do you? Hmm? Hmm? So for me and egg all, me and egg bird, we wish you a fantastic day or a brilliant night. I'll show you too, too. Yeah. Brilliant day, fantastic night. Yeah. And we will see you. Uh -oh. on. Oh. What's that? What's that, baby? Catch you later, bye.